Hello everybody, John here and today on To The Garage I'm sharing a little bit about what happened at the weekend. It was a very strange, slightly emotional but ultimately brilliant day. Most of you will know the story of my original XK8 PJ that I had for nearly 10 years and how ultimately I had to move her along because I couldn't afford to fix her up myself. She was mechanically very, very good and ultimately very sound in bodywork, but cosmetically and around the edges, I needed an awful lot of work doing to her and I just couldn't afford the time, the money, and I haven't the talent to sort it out. So um, I took it over to a fabulous couple of guys, Dean and Mark at Town and Country Cars in Cleethorpes. Highly recommend them. They sell, restore, work on cars of all sorts, but they love Jaguars. Ultimately, I ended up selling them the car or actually trading it in against a car they'd already restored. And that's how I ended up with Purdy. They promised me faithfully when she was finished, they would give me a call. And they did. Dean from Town and Country gave me a call and said, did I want to pop over and see the car before it officially went up for sale? Because um, who can tell how long it will be for sale? And so myself, my wife and my father rushed over to Cleethorpes to take a look. The only jobs he had left to do were get some original uh, centre caps for the wheels and give it a final machine polish and one little bit, piece of plastic trim that we're waiting for to be delivered in the post completely uh, and utterly transformed. It was always a nice car, but it's even got new lever on the seats. Um, so, you know, the new owner is going to really get a complete and utter joy. The bodywork now looks absolutely as new. Beautiful finish on it. You can't see or tell that any work has been done on the bodywork. Um, obviously I knew exactly where to look at it and from what angles all the transitions from existing bodywork to new bodywork are completely invisible an absolute joy to see people who know what they're doing and, and love what they're doing have transformed this car and so this is without the machine polishing <laughs> so um, yeah, it was a slightly bittersweet experience to see the car in such immaculate condition. A wonderful hour chatting with Mark and Dean about the car, how much work they've done on it, and looking around their other cars. This Fiat 500 was just a shell when we first uh, visited them, and they've got modern Jaguars, old cars like the beautiful Vauxhall bits in the background. It has this fantastic uh, American esque look while still being a very British car even down to the bench seat, the sun visor, uh, some really mixed up engineering and styling that was going on around the era of this car in the UK. A lot, but I think, it's, it is a I think my wife would have uh, quite happily taken that box all home. It's like when you open the door, the old smell brings back. 
If you're ever in the Cleethorpes area, Lincolnshire, then I recommend you drop in. I mean, where else are you going to see an immaculate Chimera TVR like this? Um, that is the exhaust manifold for any of you who don't know TVRs. Yes, it faces forward. <laughs> VA forward. pushing forward to that beautiful tuned manifold, which then goes down underneath the middle of the car. TVR madness, as always. These are cars that uh, get loved or crashed. This one is loved. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful SL350. Um, I think one of the prettier of the Mercedes coupes. And there's always a good array of vehicles to ogle at just in front of their tiny little garage in Cleethorpes. It's a strong man who will go to Cleethorpes and not decide to round the day off with a visit to one of the largest fish and chip shops in the world, seriously. It's a fabulous place, there's my wife and my dad uh, enjoying a little bit of traditional British fare and um, Papa's, the huge fish and chip shop, which is the entire Cleethorpes Pier. If you've enjoyed this video, you want to see more, please subscribe, give us your comments, and we'll see you again really soon on To The Garage.